Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Bagley and today we are back with another part of The Sims Moon Legacy. So there's just chaos in this household at the moment and like I mean it. In the first two minutes that I was playing off camera just to prepare everything and I didn't even end up preparing anything because I didn't want to miss anything else. Basically Daisy got eaten by a cow plant and also the dog ran away. So um, yeah that's great and the whole house is just horribly disgusting. It's, it's very chaotic like I said. Also, I don't think they really want to be in presence of each other. Oh my gosh, this needs to be repaired. Oh, but tomorrow is ski day. Okay, I'm excited about that. I definitely want to go. Haley's calling Frank. Haley is wondering if you want to go hang out to her house. I'm gonna say yes and then I'm gonna switch back to Daisy. The thing is that Haley also has a baby. They just, they just woohoo. They fully tried for a baby. But. They're both married and they both have kids. So that's interesting. Actually, I want to check if she's actually pregnant or... And Haley, Haley even lives with Philip and Delilah now, but I don't see them. Maybe they're not home. Oh no, Philip is here. Is she pregnant? No, that's Delilah. Oh my gosh. Wait, where is... Oh. Oh, she's right here. And that's her child. That's the child that she already has. Is she pregnant, though? Is what I want to know. She's pregnant. Well, that's not ideal. Um, I'm just gonna let these guys be here and I'm gonna switch back to Daisy. Oh, the sink is broken. Right. You're very tense because... Okay. Yeah, we need to clean the house. It's, it's a mess, like I said. Oh my god, Bailey is getting a phone call about this? Hey hon, it's dad? When are you going to come visit? You live with us for now. <sighs> I put all my love and effort into raising you. You can at least drop by every once in a while and tell your dad you love him, can't you? I'm just gonna say this for now because like we live together. Oh, Bailey, you're cooking? Oh my gosh, I was just about to say this isn't a good idea. And yeah, it was not a good idea. Like the house wasn't already enough of a mess. Are you still on fire? Are you kidding me, Haley? Hey Franklin, I've been thinking about getting to know Philip Henley better as a friend. I feel like he wouldn't want her to, even though this is like a friend thing, I think Frank wouldn't want her to hang out with Philip anymore. At least if he wants to get together with Haley. So I'm gonna say that I wouldn't do that. Oh my gosh, Buttercup has returned. Give him a treat. And um, ask to go potty. Oh my gosh, okay, wait, I can't remember her name, but I did give her a makeover. Oh my gosh, also I forgot to tell you, but I made all of Bailey's friends into teenagers and also gave them like a quick makeovers. So I read online about this performance that plays at flea market. Oh, I don't know if I want to go to flea market, sorry. <laughs> also, in the last episode, I forgot to include like a big part of the next gen for Bailey. So for her birthday, when she turns into a teenager, which she just did last episode, Bailey was supposed to get gifted a laptop. But because all of the drama with Frank and stuff, I completely forgot about it. Daisy literally- okay, I can't show you, but Daisy literally bought it. She has a laptop in the inventory. She just hasn't really had a chance to actually gift it to Bailey. Bailey, I know that you are really enjoying playing video games right now, but I think you should do your homework because it's a Sunday and you have school tomorrow. First day of high school, in fact. Also, today is ski day, but I was so excited for ski day. But honestly, since like Daisy is working till 4 and Frank and Daisy are just not feeling it, let's be honest. Um, like, I don't think the ski day is going to happen, which is so sad. Alright, um, Daisy is back. What a day at work. She, she She's only making like so little money, I feel like, for... A level 8 of a career like I don't know it's just a bit 
strange. Honestly, Frank and Daisy are literally just arguing. They are not having the best time, which makes sense, you know? But it's still kind of sad, like... I really like them. I thought they were such a cute couple, but um, we all know what happened. I don't think they will want to stay together, or at least Daisy. She deserves better and she knows it. So, okay, Bailey, can you put Florian to bed? Because these two are clearly busy. I really don't like you very much right now. Just feeling bitter over a few things that I'll get over eventually, or not. Okay, yeah. Things are getting a little bit out of hand, I feel like, but... What can you ex like, but like, what can you expect? Point out flaws? That's horrible, but I'm gonna do it. Daisy is just so tired. I feel like she's just gonna go to bed. She has... I feel like she's just so done with this. Also, I forgot that she was eaten by a cowplant. That's horrible as well. Why is the toddler awake again? Just go to bed. Thank you. Oh, take a cold shower. You are very angry. I don't know. I feel like he just thought that he could get away with it. With literally woohooing. Or not not just woohooing. Trying for a baby with Haley. Oh, hello, Bailey. You are awake at 5 a.m. Why don't you take a morning shower first and then you can grab something to eat? Oh, this is her second outfit. Oh, she's so cute. I love Bailey. I think she's so cute. And, well, Daisy is pretty miserable right now. Oh my gosh, Bailey's like, I hate it here. I mean, it's because things are messy and smelly, but... I, I like to think that it's because everybody is arguing and it's stressing her out. Bailey, I mean Daisy, oh my gosh. Daisy, you don't work today. Okay, that's great. Because I'm going to work on your skills. However, I'm still not sure how I'm going to do the whole fishing thing. Because I can't fish. Because it's winter, the water's frozen. So I think we might have to possibly use the books to level up fishing. That's the only thing I can think of other than like going to Oasis Springs or something. Oh my gosh, tomorrow is Winterfest Eve and the day after that is Winterfest. I was planning to divorce them today. So does that mean that the kids will spend their first Winterfest without Frank? I mean, we could still invite him over. It would be a little bit awkward, but we could. I mean, okay, technically, technically, I have my calendar set on each, on each season is two weeks long. So technically, this is the first Winterfest ever <laughs> in this save. Um, but I mean, I like to imagine that it's not because like, come on, Bailey's a teenager. Surely she would have some like Winterfest before. But yeah. Um, we could still invite Frank around anyways, because, listen, even if they divorce, I don't think Frank would just, like, completely disappear out of at least children's lives. I feel like he would want to be at least someone present in Bailey's and Florian's lives. So, yeah, that's kind of the way I'm picturing this. Oh, what? Franklin's Garden Laboratory has shown exceptional growth, but he has a secret. Gnomes. It's all thanks to the gnomes. He brought an ordinary garden gnome to work one day when suddenly it came to life and began to tending and began tending his garden. It wasn't long before an entire family of gnomes had moved in, all of whom seemed to excel at caring for plants. It sounds crazy, but if we could prove the magic gnome's gardening powers are real, it could change the future of bot botany. I don't know how to spell this word. What will Frank do now? Okay, I just had a crazy idea, obviously. Um, so we could just do keep the gnomes a secret and nothing would happen. But if we publish research on magic gnomes, Frank will gain fame, which I don't really care about, but okay. But he will also lose reputation and be fired from his job. 
and I'm thinking that this the fact that he loses his job might be the thing that just helps Daisy decide that yeah it's over I can't do this anymore like she just like snaps and she's like I want to get a divorce like if you're cheating on me and uh, then you're losing your job like I can't be the only source of income here you know stuff like that so maybe that would be like the last thing that she just couldn't approve of even the cheating I don't think she would have but yeah, I think I'm gonna do this, oh my gosh. Let's publish research on magic gnomes. Franklin got trolled. Frank set out to write a dissertation on the viability of harnessing the magical power of the gnomes to grow better crops. Simply keep the gnomes happy with fruits and pies and they continue their work on a... on a unabated what the heck is that word anyways pleased with himself he uploaded her thesis to the internet for the world to see it wasn't long before his boss burst through the laboratory door and she did not look pleased gnome standing crops what is that rubbish frank turned the gesture at the gnomes but they were nowhere to be seen get out you're fired and this ended frank's budding career as a botanist well, that's unfortunate, but I also really don't care. So, he's been fired, I can't believe it. Frank still can't get over getting fired. Fired. Nothing gets a seam down like losing a job. Oh, and also we got some bills. <laughs> so we also have to pay that. So he has been fired. Where's Daisy? Bathing a toddler. All right, I think he would just like, yeah, he's gonna confess to getting fired. Oh my gosh. Also, I can't make a thousand dollar donation, okay? Yeah, he's gonna confess it to Daisy. You got fired? This is really bad news. Yeah, she's sad about it. There was another option. Hold on. <laughs> no, she's not She's not gonna give him condolences for job loss. He can maybe vent about getting fired as well. Let's argue about career. She's, she, she's really mad about it. She just can't take it. Oh, and now he got an emotion bomb quirk. Wow. I feel like they might just argue for a bit now. Like, honestly, at this point, this is just like the usual. Hey, this drama isn't my fault. At least not completely. Well, you lost your job, so maybe it is. And since he got fame for it, I feel like other people would know that this has happened. And probably Daisy is just embarrassed for the family. <laughs> She's gonna mock his outfit. Like, why are you still in your work outfit? You don't even work there anymore. They have so many bad sentiments about each other at this point. Saddened, festering, grudge. This one's like the worst. Personal rift. Oh, Daisy is a people person, so the decline of her friendship with Franklin is especially painful. Daisy also feels saddened. It's disappointing to see a rift in this one strong relationship. Oh, that's so true. Daisy wishes things were different and she wonders if Franklin feels the same way. But at the same time, I don't think Daisy can just forget what happened, you know? Oh my gosh, they have like no friendship at this point. I didn't even notice. Oh, this is so sad. The fact that, you know how perfect they were for each other as well? Like, Daisy literally, you know how sometimes it's honestly hard to get, like, people's friendship bar up? But they, it just went up, like, like super fast. And now it's just all falling apart. Also, Bailey is home and she has a sad mood swing. Sad because I'm sad. You wouldn't understand. Nobody would understand. Oh my gosh. That is definitely connected to this whole drama happening over here. I feel like she would just turn on video games, maybe play Sims Forever, just try to not think about it. I feel like Bailey would be really hurt about them getting divorced. No, 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 Daisy, that's, that's Bailey's secret computer that you need to give to her. You can't just use it. I think I'm gonna get them to divorce like right now also frank you should really get out of this outfit argue about parenting one last time and then i think daisy would be like i can't take this anymore i'm sorry but 
<laughs> we need to end this. And the thing is that Bailey is right there. Even though she's playing video games, she would definitely hear this. She's like right in the kitchen. I think it's time for them to divorce. Oh my gosh, I'm so sad. You don't even understand. I am so sad. But I need to do this. I guess it was never meant to be. Oh my gosh. Oh, they're both sad. So, oh, Daisy's kind of happy about it, apparently. How are you not more sad than that? Like, all of this is just... Also you as well. You two just don't care about it or something? I think that just means that Frank is going to move out. I... Oh, I didn't mean to travel. Um, I don't know where he's gonna move out. I don't think he would live with Haley because Haley <laughs> lives with Philip and Delilah. And honestly, I don't know what's, what's the situation there. I don't know if Philip will forgive the, um, Haley. Because they do have a child together as well, like a toddler, and now she's pregnant as well. So, I don't know. I'm gonna give him like 1000 simoleons. Actually, realistically, I feel like he would get a lot more. Even though Daisy is definitely the one who earned the most amount of money here, mainly with her flower arrangements. I think I'll give him 5k. Also, I feel like Frank is really going to miss Buttercup. What if Frank and Haley moved back into Haley's old home, though? Is that a bad idea? What if they genuinely get together? Oh my gosh, wait, is that a good or bad idea? I'm obviously gonna move him in with the cheats because I just, like, what am I supposed to do? <laughs> there we go, free real estate on. And Frank is moving. I'm kind of thinking to move Haley here in this home, but leave the child that she had with Philip, with Philip, but um, move pregnant with Frank in this small house. That's where she used to live. But then she moved in like a big house where Philip and Delilah live because Haley and Philip got married. Okay, well, Frank is just going to live here from now on. And also, what do I do with Daisy? Does she ever like marry again? Maybe as an elder? I'm really not sure. Why is Angela here? Anyways, I'm kind of like, it's kind of weird that there is no moodlets about your parents getting divorced. There definitely should be, because like, come on, she's very sad because of her mood swing, which is understandable, but that's the only thing that I can like do to pretend. Now Daisy is really sad. Divorce end of a relationship from breakup okay it was a divorce but this is the mod mudlet so it's fine daisy do you want to just strum the guitar a little bit because you haven't in a while and oh she got inspired so fast but yeah i still need you to level this skill up as well wait she can write a song and it's like a sad song as well Okay, Daisy, why don't you write a song about you divorcing? Okay, Daisy, actually it's 2am. I didn't even notice because she's not tired, but yeah, you should probably continue the song tomorrow. It feels so empty without Frank here. I mean, now we have Bailey, so it's not just Daisy who needs to do stuff around the house. Like, Bailey can definitely help out Daisy and I feel like she would want to. Because I feel like she just understands Daisy. Someone needs to give child and the dog a bath. So where do you want to start? <laughs> I'm gonna let Daisy get some nice sleep. She deserves it. Also, I feel like now that Daisy is officially divorced and also she is getting older. She is actually about to become an elder next week. We're just going- Oh no! In like two days! This is gonna be in like next episode. Also today is Winterfest Eve. Let's decorate. Um, you know what? I never do this manually. Like I always just click put up decorations. But why don't we do it manually this time? Let's just pick some stuff. 
Okay, let's maybe do something, you know, in our colors. Maybe just the daisy colors. My game is frozen. Oh no, my game is frozen. Uh, please don't crash, please don't crash, please don't crash. Oh my god, safe. That was so close, holy crap. Okay, it's fine, it's fine. Also, Daisy, please can you give uh, Florian a bath? Because he really desperately needs one. Yeah. <laughs> okay, why don't you clean Coop, Bailey? Because like I said, you need to help out. And also, she just really enjoys being outside with animals and stuff. Yeah, so. I don't think she minds at all. Nice, Buttercup has learned not to play in trash. That's so good. I think he's gonna be way less dirty now. Oh my gosh, that is absolutely perfect. Oh, I forgot to pay the bills. I completely forgot the bills came. Hold on, let me just pay them right now. We did spend a lot of money on Frank moving out. Oh, Frank is right here. Oh, look at him. He's so heartbroken. Well, you shouldn't have done what you did. I don't know if I should like, maybe Bailey would. Maybe Bailey would be like, hey, dad. I was gonna say Frank. Hey, dad, what's going on? I feel like she would just want to make sure that, or just like ask him if he still loves her as a daughter, which he obviously does, but I feel like she's just really questioning a lot of stuff at the moment. Oh, we can actually cook stuff. I forget that I have simple living on. Okay, let's just make a ham dinner. I always like to make turkey for harvest fast, but then ham dinner for winter fast. Oh my god, look at this. I should go. Me and that person don't get along. I feel weird being near them. Okay. I think I'm gonna host like a dinner party for the Winterfest Eve. Okay, now the thing is though that I really don't want to have a lot of people over. So as much as I would love to have like all of her, all of like Bailey's friends over, I feel like they would realistically just have Winterfest on their own as a family. So, and also I don't, I would usually invite Hayley, but I don't think Daisy would want to invite Hayley. So, I think I'm just going to invite Frank, Delilah, and uh, Philip. Okay, and I think you can just call to Grand Meal. And everybody should come, so we can have a nice meal together. But yeah, Florian, why don't Frank put you to bed? These guys are just chatting. They're actually having a nice, uh, like, dinner party. And then Frank is just like on his own, which is a little bit, um, I guess, awkward, but it's fine. That's okay. This is, it's really nice. Like, everything aside, the awkwardness and stuff, I think it, they're having a really nice time. Oh, Santa's here. I mean, Father Winter, same thing. Also, I, I know I was supposed to put a tree like a Christmas tree in the house, but there is no space anywhere. And I didn't wanna, I could technically get rid of the table to have the tree, but then, I mean, they, they wouldn't, they couldn't sit anywhere. So I think we might save the Christmas tree for next year. Well, Daisy just got a chess table and a chicken has grew up. And also Bailey just out of nowhere said, Deja Vu is just a brain processing lag. Well, that's a good point, but um, a bit weird. Okay, Bailey, I you do you want to go to bed? Okay, I see. But I I really need you to ask for a gift. I think this was a nice winter fest. Anyways, it was a little bit awkward, like the whole thing with Frank. But I think overall it was a nice winter fest. At least he was present. You got a robot vacuum dog. Yeah, I disabled the dust <laughs> for this safe, so I don't think that's gonna be useful at all, but okay. Yeah, everybody's leaving now. Oh my gosh, why is the green over there? No, 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 no. Oh, what the heck is going on here? 
I guess chicken is dying, but also this is really sad. My poor chickens, I really do feel bad. Off you go, buddy. Bye. Okay, hold on. It's about to be actual Winterfest today. Uh, yesterday was Winterfest Eve. So I'm thinking to leave some presents. Like this like pile of presents somewhere in the house. I, I feel like there was already enough stuff happening in today's episode. I think we are going to leave the Winterfest and like gift opening parts for the next episode. I really hope you enjoyed this one even though it was really dramatic and just a lot of stuff happening. I am really sad about Daisy and Frank divorcing. It's generally so sad. And also let me know what you think about Haley moving in with Frank. Do you think she would do it or do you think Philip just forgave her and she would just continue living with him? Let me know what you think about that in the comments down below and I will see you guys next time. Bye!